We began this year with much uncertainty and many challenges. However, we remain resilient and working together, we accomplished much more than we thought possible. At the start of the year, here comes your white knight. It really literally moving from the 20th century to the 21st century. Travel isn't just about the destination, there's a real joy in the journey, and I think this space is gonna really contribute to that. As a Muslim, traveling, it has always been difficult to find a safe, secure, and a somewhat peaceful place to be able to perform our daily prayers. The fact is that, you know, as the airport continues to grow and we see more traffic, we're looking for new ways to leverage technology. I couldn't be any more thrilled to finally have this underway. We're going to be able to vaccinate our frontline workers, those with the most contact with the public, and those that are most vulnerable. Today signals the return of robust air travel and better days ahead. As the proud son of immigrants, I know through the experience of my own parents what it's like to arrive in a new country. Seattle Tacoma International Airport will inevitably be the first impression for arriving refugees, as it was for my parents when they immigrated through SCA now over 30 years ago. The big message I want to leave with everyone is after all the work, we are ready here at the port. We're so happy to be back. We're happy to be here as part of the positive economic impact, both to the state of Washington and to the state of Alaska. We're saving emissions, we're saving using oil. Over the lifetime of this dock and the power here, we're going to save a lot of money and in doing so, help the environment. Well, it's incredibly important that we uh, demonstrate leadership in the efforts to improve ocean health. We want to bring the community in and have them help us maintain the site. These are the ancestral lands and waters of the Coast Salish people with whom we share a commitment to steward these natural resources for future generations. So our youth are incredibly hardworking. They're so positive. I absolutely love working with young people. We are so happy that the port have allowed this land to be used repeatedly. There needs to be, I think, a, a number of conversations, but then those conversations need to have tangible results and tangible outcomes. When you invest in people in the community, that pays off, right? This workforce that came around to do these projects just didn't materialize out of nowhere. The port for years has been investing in apprenticeship and pre-apprenticeship. If I go do laborers, I could eventually go open my own business with my, fa with my father and my brother. So this uh, Dora Satellite Modernization Project is uh, really a testament to the cultural and natural richness of the Great Northwest. This is one of the most successful projects in the history of the port. I think this work is really beneficial for young people because your energy is spent doing something really worthwhile. Our work benefits the community and um, it's just a really cool opportunity to bring the community to the river. So the port is a great partner because they, they get it. It's a huge sense of civic pride and pride for the workers. The recovery is well underway. We have a great team and great partners. Together we can build a much brighter future.